most of whales' lives are, are hidden to us. You know, we'll see whales at the surface. That's only a very small fraction of the time that they're actually visible to human eyes. Most of the time, they're underneath the water, 10, 50, 100 meters, oftentimes deeper. We really had no idea until very, very recently, the last couple decades, what they were doing down there. And technology has allowed us to really view into the lives of these amazing animals. Whales are well known for their enormous mouths, able to swallow huge numbers of tiny sea creatures in a single gulp. But when ecologist Matthew Savoca looked through scientific papers, he discovered that no one knew exactly how much food whales consumed. I thought it was so simple that it must have been done before. I realized that this very basic question uh, in terms of how these animals live was, was unknown. These details might not seem that important, but whales are really important in ecosystems and their functioning. Just the size and the scale of their consumption has reverberating ecosystem impacts that, as it turns out, affects the structure and the function of marine ecosystems from the top to the bottom. So what might seem just as an initial sort of trivia question actually turns out to be quite important for the ecology of the ocean and the functioning of the planet. The first step in figuring out how much food the whales were eating was to tag them. Over the course of 10 years, Matthew and his colleagues put 321 tags on whales from seven different species. The tags tracked the whale's movement, recording in real time as they dove and surfaced. This data revealed how often they were gulping water and food like krill and anchovies each time the whale came to the surface. But the tagging wasn't an easy task. The researchers spent hundreds of days at sea. We work in small boats, and uh, that enables us to get up right close to the whale and put a tag on. And also, we take other samples. So we'll take a little skin sample as the whale surfaces as well. If the whale does um, have, a, you know, have a fecal event, as we like to call it, we'll collect feces as well for analysis later. So this is the glorious work that we get to do, collecting whale poop in the ocean. The feces told the researchers what the whale was eating, and the tags told them how often. But they needed more data to tell them how much the whale consumed when it opened its enormous mouth. We also needed to know the size of the mouth, because they have these enormous expandable pouches that they fill with water and prey. And to do that, we are able to measure the size of the animals using airborne drones when they are at the surface. Combining all this data gave a surprising result. The whales were eating twice as much krill as previously estimated. That means whales might be having an even bigger impact on the ocean than researchers had thought. And that's potentially concerning, given that whales face a number of deadly threats, including whaling, accidental ship strikes, and climate change. Losing whales could be devastating for ocean ecosystems. We've seen declining ocean productivity in areas specifically where we remove the most whales. And before whaling, there was millions of these blue and fin whales that were able to take krill, for example, and turn it into fertilizer. Without those whales, you just do not get the same fertilization. The whale's fecal fertilizer allows for the growth of phytoplankton. And phytoplankton are essential for ocean ecosystems, absorbing carbon dioxide, oxygenating the water, and feeding the creatures higher up the food chain. All these animals that we know and love, whether it's a sea otter or a killer whale or a blue whale, are all based on this foundation of a healthy and productive layer of phytoplankton. That's what the whales are able to do. They're able to bolster those populations and those communities of plankton. So this is why we think that underestimation of krill consumption actually plays a large role in not just ecosystem function, but planetary function. This new insight into whales' enormous appetites could inform conservation efforts. In particular, understanding what happens to the rest of the ecosystem when whale populations fall. When you actually realize that, in fact, they were eating more krill than we thought in the past, and therefore recycling even more iron than we thought in the past, then this has even bigger implications for why we need a world with whales.